Hybrid median filter is an improvised version of median filter and it removes impulse noise that is like salt pepper noise and uh, the noise removal is much better than uh, the median filter and also it preserves the uh, uh, edges. So here uh, we will see how it works. Um, hybrid median filter is like you can see a window here or it is called a filter. Uh, here we have a plus symbol and a x symbol and then we have a center pixel and uh, these are the pixel which has to be uh, selected so we'll have to uh, have uh, these three kind of filters or the windows which has to be applied on the pixel uh, of an image which we are working on and then uh, we'll have to get the median values of the selected pixel you can see here we have a plus symbol where we get the median values of the selected pixel again uh, we have another set of uh, pixels that is uh, with x symbol uh, so uh, we get the median of value, median values of the that selected pixel, and then we have the center pixel or the original pixel, uh, where we get these uh, uh, values, and then again find we will be fi finally getting three uh, uh, values, and those th uh, uh, three pixels are again uh, uh, selected uh, for further uh, processing, and where we will apply median filter again, and we will get the final pixel value, which has to be replaced on the original pixel place. So um you can see what are the positions here that is plus neighbors where we get uh, uh, in in memory in system memory we can see the position is like this that is one two three four five six seven eight so the pixel position which will be selected here is uh, two four five six and eight and again for uh, the x neighbors you can see the pixel position is one three five seven and nine and uh, and the original pixel we know that it's five so we can select these uh, these pixels and find the median values as discussed before and then uh, we can apply hybrid median filter so uh, i'm going to use octave uh, software or you can even use matlab uh, the same script can be used and um, uh, before uh, uh, just understand the concept i'm going to discuss about the sliding window here and uh, if you don't know about that please watch my video on uh, apply mean mean and median filter on image uh, which is already available in my channel so that you, you can uh, uh, understand how those uh, sliding windows work and uh, now i'll show you how to just select those plus symbol uh, uh, values that is the neighbor values x neighbors and the plus neighbors uh, from um, uh, image like when we select uh, three cross three we, uh, we apply a filter that is a, a filter or a window on an image um, on a particular pixel so we will get 3 cross 3 uh, uh, this is 3 cross 3 windows uh, window and we will get a 9 elements and those 9 elements in those 9 elements we will be selecting the plus neighbors and also the x neighbors so we will see how to uh, select that here you can see I have a, um, a simple script uh, which will uh, help you understand those things so here I have a test matrix which is a 3 cross 3 matrix where we have uh, a, a simple value 5 is to 7 and 20 is to 21, uh, 22 and 16 is to 18. I'll show you this. And X mask is this and uh, where we have uh, zeros of 3 cross 3. And um, I, I will show you this uh, step by step so that we can understand. Now, if I select this and click on run selection can see this uh, the matrix uh, or we'll consider this a simple uh, image and this will be the original pixel here so it is like uh, after applying a window we'll get a three cross three uh, um, three cross three uh, i mean three, uh, nine elements and after applying the three cross three window and we get uh, 5 6 7 20 21 22 20, uh, 16 17 and 18 we'll have to select the plus neighbors and the x neighbors here so that's what we are going to do now and uh, here we have um, the x mask that is uh, x neighbors to select x neighbors so what uh, we are doing here is we are just uh, getting uh, x let me display so i'll remove the semicolon here and now i'm going to run this selection again and let's see what happens sorry i have not compiled this let me run now I have got n value. So now you can see uh, x is like zero zeros of three cross three is we have a three cross three matrix with all zeros, 
and uh, I've selected uh, the X neighbors that is which is going to be the diagonal uh, pixel that is one set of diagonal pixel and the rest of the diagonal pixel and so what we have here is uh, all uh, have to be made one so now we have selected uh, the X neighbors that is one 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 and here you can see one 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 so for that we have used a simple uh, formula and next um, or you can directly uh, uh, like if you use this kind of uh, simple uh, formulas uh, it will be easy for you to um, uh, easily select the uh, uh, pixel which you require and then um, uh, we have plus uh, neighbors again so we have uh, plus equal to zeros of the three cross three again and uh, we are going to uh, again make those values one so let's see that output here we have uh, um, um, simple uh, 3 cross 3 um, matrix with all zeros and we are uh, trying to make all, uh, the uh, plus neighbors as 1 here. So uh, what happens is when we multiply these values there we can actually select or also you can uh, easily um, se select the positions with uh, respect to uh, this. So it's like uh, we can select the position of all the one all ones here. Um, so what, that's what we are going to do. Here we have um, just a variable that is a di uh, diagonal element, uh, so that is a x, x neighbors equal to find of x, so it will find the positions and uh, this matrix, I am simply printing this uh, matrix, uh, that is 3 cross 3 matrix which we have the sample and uh, we are going to select the elements that we discussed before. Um, so we will see what, what is the position and we will see what are the elements. So let me run this. So we have uh, we have the diagonal element position as 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. We have discussed this before and um, um, again um, you can uh, see we have the matrix where uh, we are get, uh, trying to get other uh, values which are in the appropriate positions. So this becomes 1 and this is uh, 2 and this is 3 and this is 4, 5 and 6 and then 7, 8 and 9. So now the first element becomes 5 then we have we are selecting the third that is 16 and then uh, the uh, fifth element that is 21 and then the se uh, seventh element that is uh, 7 and the ninth element that is 18. So now we got uh, we have got um, the diagonal matrix to say that is 5, 21, 18, 16 and 7. Next we are going to take the plus matrix, uh, sorry, plus neighbors. So let me run this selection again. We are doing the same here. Again, you can see the second set of uh, uh, elements position is 2, 4, that is all uh, plus neighbor element position, that is 2, 4, 5, 6, and 8, that is um, 2, 4, 5, 6, and 8. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, take the elements uh, in the appropriate position which are available in the appropriate position. Um, so we have 20, 6, 21, 17 and 22. So these are uh, x na uh, neighbors and these are uh, the plus neighbors. So we have uh, fetched it. Once this is done you can uh, if you have already watched my video on apply mean and median filter you will be able to much better understand what is happening here. So let me open the other script uh, like the hybrid actual hybrid median filter uh, script. Here I have a noisy board dot image which I, I have an image which is already added with salt and pepper noise and um, uh, pad array is like if you watch my video on um, median filter you will be able to understand what is a pad array um, and I have already uh, even uh, explained some of the uh, basics of MATLAB in another video you can watch that also and now um using uh, this you can see here we have x mask which i showed you earlier and then uh, plus mask again that is the plus neighbors and x neighbors which uh, which are actually made as one and we are going to select the position so we are using this so which we have already discussed here so um now here we are using this uh, h uh, that is hybrid window it is like uh, to select uh, 3 cross 3 if you if you make this key as one it will be uh, selected uh, here the padding size will be 3 cross 3 and uh, even here uh, when we run the window the filter size will be uh, 3 cross 3 
or the window size to be 3 cross 3 is the signing window or if we select this k value as 2 it becomes for uh, the h win or oh, there is the value becomes 5 so if we select uh, uh, um, padding uh, pa uh, if we select uh, the image and if you want to pad we can use the same here, k value here and um, uh, k value here and also we can use uh, the uh, this h win variable where we can uh, operate directly so this is an, um, like a uh, yeah, universal here so that's the reason we are using it so here uh, um, this uh, k has to become 2 if we are going to um, use a sliding window which is of 5 cross 5 but we are now trying to apply only uh, 3 cross 3 window so what we are going to do is make k1 and now um, this is like we have the image that is image uh, 2 that is padded image and uh, on padded image uh, we are applying the 3 cross 3 win, uh, window that is a sliding window which is going to be sliding on the, uh, that window will be placed on uh, the pixel which are going to operate and this window is placed on every pixel uh, like um, from the starting pixel to the um, starting pixel of the image to the last pixel of the image uh, so this is going to be a sliding window or the filter and then we are only selecting when we just apply the sliding window on the first pixel we will get some nine elements and uh, then um, uh, we are uh, get, getting those uh, nine elements because this, this is going to be a three cross three window so we get nine elements and from that nine elements we are trying to find the position of x neighbors and then plus neighbors and then we are getting the uh, original pixel value that is uh, uh, w of 5 that is uh, we will uh, we'll get the center pixel the original pixels value after that we find the median of uh, the x neighbors and the plus neighbors and which was discussed already like how hybrid median works and then uh, we, uh, we are trying to uh, take it in a matrix that is m1 m2 m3 so we get uh, median of uh, this will be one value that is uh, median of x neighbors and median of plus neighbors will be another value and we get the original pixel so among them we are again trying to get the median value uh, that is uh, we get three values that is m1 m2 m3 and from here we'll again apply median that is median of rest mate uh, uh, that is going to be the result result and uh, value median value and uh, that is replaced uh, in the place of original pixel this happens for every pixel and if you have to understand how the sliding window um, works um, i'm repeating it please watch my video on uh, apply median and median filter where i've explained how it works and uh, once it is done uh, you can uh, just uh, try to plot the uh, original uh, noisy image and the filtered image so what i'm going to do is run the script and let's see the output so now you can see the image i'll expand it so here I have uh, my image, original image, which is noisy and you can see salt and pepper noise over here. And then after uh, the, uh, applying a hybrid median filter, you can see uh, we, uh, we have the noise removed. And um, so uh, uh, when you compare um, uh, median filter with hybrid median filter, hybrid median filter is much better than the median filter. So it's like it preserves the edges. Uh, so you can try this and um, uh, uh, keep watching um, i'll be posting more videos and um, thank you thanks a lot